Dear brothers and sisters in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, today's devotion for Saturday, January 16th, comes from 2 Timothy chapter 1. Hence the theme for today is fan into flame, the gift of God. St. Paul writes, For this reason, I remind you to fan into flame the gift of God, which is in you through the laying on of my hands. For God gave us a spirit not of fear, but of power and love and self-control. St. Paul was writing to Timothy and reminding him of how his mother and grandmother had brought him up in the faith. They are examples of faith to him, and they brought him to the church and studied the scriptures, so that he was acquainted with the Old and New Testament. And St. Paul reminds him of the gift of God. St. Paul saw that he could preach and teach the gospel, and so he appointed St. Timothy to be a pastor and overseer in the church. He laid hands on him to anoint him and sent him out for that great task. And now St. Paul is encouraging him, telling him that he shouldn't be afraid to proclaim this gospel because he has received the spirit of power and love and self-control so that he could boldly proclaim the word of God. And this is true for all pastors in the church and for all who proclaim the word of God. God has given them a spirit not of fear but of power and love and self-control so that they too can boldly proclaim the word of God and fan into flame the gift of God which they received when he called and ordained them into the ministry and care for the church. Let us pray to our Lord who gives us faithful pastors. Enliven the love of your saints to bear one another's burdens and to show mercy toward those outside of the church. Quicken us in the hope of eternal life in Christ Jesus. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord Jesus, you have always given to your church faithful shepherds such as Timothy to guide and feed your flock. Make all pastors diligent to preach your holy word and administer your means of grace and grant your people wisdom to follow in the way that leads to eternal life. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Preserve our nation, its leaders, and those who serve for the good of our people and for their protection. Grant peace in our time, O Lord, for you alone fight for us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. All these things, blessed Lord, we pray you to grant us according to your merciful goodness and for the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Go in our Lord's peace and joy, knowing that he has given us a spirit not of fear, but of power and love and self-control. Go in peace. Amen.